Symposia earlier today, presenting physicians and professors from U.S. headquartered Mayo Clinic as part of its 20th year celebration. The talks, which were held at the hospital's premises, focus on three key areas, developments of the individualized medicine and its impact on today's patient care, Mayo Clinic's leadership development model, and addressing burnout among medical staff. The various sessions aimed to exchange experiences with physicians, hospital department heads, nurses, and other staff on recent developments in patient care and medical practices implemented at the Mayo Clinic. One of the main highlights of the event was a presentation by Dr. Alexander Parker, Professor of Urology and Associate Director for the Center for Individualized Medicine. Dr. Parker explained and discussed the topic of individualized medicine moving from promise to practice, focusing on the role of genomics or the sequencing and analysis of human DNA in individualized medicine or tailored diagnosis and treatment, as well as its impact on today's practices on patient care. Dr. Parker's talk shared how Mayo Clinic has been implementing the practice of genomics-based medicine and its prospects as technology continues to advance into big data and connectivity. He also shared real success stories with attendees where patients were with rare and undiagnosed illnesses were treated successfully through genomic sequencing. So individualized medicine is a concept of using technology to get answers for patients that are more tailored or specific to their needs. Because that's what we all want when we go to the physician is, don't tell me how to treat diabetes. How are you going to treat my diabetes? Or don't tell me how to prevent kidney cancer. What's the best way for me to prevent kidney cancer? So that's what the concept is, is using technology, particularly genomic technology, to get answers for patients that are more specific to their situation. So the reason it's happening now is simple. It's all being driven by genomic technology. Before, we had no ability to look at the entire genome of a patient. But now technology has progressed to a point where we can look at the entire genomic sequence for a patient. And that's what's opening all these new exciting doors to personalize medicine for the individual. And